I'm back to make another another batch of soap. I'm actually going to do two loaves because it's about 1.30, almost 1.30 in the morning. And I was planning on doing my soap quite a while ago, but my battery was dead for the camera. And all my stuff was ready, so I thought, well, I can either just make the soap and not film a video, or I can charge the battery and make the video in a little while. And I decided to make the video in a little while. But while I was waiting for the camera to charge, I went ahead and made up another batch of soap. So I'm going to do two loaves real quick. One's a really small one. And this one's the one I was originally going to do. Um, I have all my oils, my colloidal oatmeal and kale and clay in here. And I already mixed it all up. And I'm going to be doing purple, which this is, um, I think it's like majestic purple or something like that from Crafter's Choice. Uh, turquoise, teal turquoise blue from Crafter's Choice. Um, shimmering gold, I think. And then this is a uh, matte brown oxide. And I do have titanium dioxide also. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these colors or not. We'll see how the batter is. And then I'm using um, Sex on the Beach from Just Scent fragrance oil. And I've got my aloe vera with my lye and my um, silk in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get, get to it. And I noticed that I never um, specified that I am or typically soap at room temperature. Um, every once in a while I do warmer um, up to like a hundred and I would say that the hottest that I soap is like 115, 120, but typically room temperature. And that is what I am doing right now. And last night I made a batch and it did set up pretty quick. It still turned out really pretty. I was very happy with the cut um, today. But um, hopefully this will be kind of like somewhere in between. I'm, I'm at emulsification already, so. There we go. We shall stop there. And get these into my get my fragrance into this and then get the this with the fragrance into my colors and um, I've got to get these videos posted because I have I have um, filmed a few videos now but I have yet to actually upload any on YouTube yet just because I've never done it before and um, yeah this is this is actually pretty thick so I'm gonna get get to moving um, I don't know if this is gonna do something crazy it looks like it might rice or something I really hope not but whatever this Fragrance oil smells so stinking good. I can't even take it. I am absolutely keeping at least a couple of bars of this for the house. Um, it is like awesome. I love it. Okay, so that is nice and mixed. And I'm going to go ahead and get this into my colors and I want to try to work somewhat quickly because I don't want to have any issues tonight. 
I just want to have a smooth and fun soaping night, especially since it's actually the morning. And because I had to work, I was back up on call today and had to go to, into work. And I, I did end up working the entire time. So that was lovely. Was not really, um, I wasn't really wanting to do that, let's just say. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's okay. A little bit of overtime. That's never a bad thing, right? So, that's the way I'll look at it. Got some overtime. All right, I've got my titanium dioxide. I am going to use all of I am going to use all my colors. Let's just see how that goes. I was thinking my white was like really super creamy and um, going to be more of a yellowy cream color but it wasn't um, in fact it was a really really nice white that I came came out with I was doing um, for this one, I'm like kind of inspired by like a beach type theme with the gold, blue, brown, and I threw in the purple just because I felt like purple would be a really, really pretty color. Well, purple is one of my favorite colors, so purple and everything is good for me. But I thought purple with this blue and brown and gold, I just thought that would be so beautiful. So that's what we're doing. I'm going obviously light, lightest color to dark. And um, my fluid's doing well. I'm not worried right now. Things are looking good. drop swirl or if I'm going to um, maybe do like a maybe run a chopstick through it or something like that yeah my fluids actually really I mean my batter is very fluid it's looking very good So I'm going to go ahead and get a nice good bit of this. Well, let's see. I want you guys to be able to see well. So what I'll do is bring the mold over here. I'm just going to put most of that in there. Reserve a little bit for um, on the top. Hopefully that's not too much. All right, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and pour some of my brown.
gold. Teal. Oh, this is getting thick. Tap this down a little bit. Uh, my gold. And my blue. I might have to pause you guys. I think my son's coming home right now. He's got a key. Good deal. Alright, so let's see. Should I? I'm going to leave that. Hey, Mom. Hey, babe. I'm doing a video, sweetie. I'm going to go ahead and put my white in here. Rest of the gold. That went in perfect, right where I wanted it. Mm. Wow, this 
brown is thick. I guess in some ways that's kind of good. It's going on exactly where I want it to. All right, that's good. Now my blue and my purple. They are definitely getting thick. I have room for my purple. Last one, my purple. Holy moly. Barely have room for this. My son and his friend just came in and they're tiptoeing around trying to be really quiet since I'm making a video, which is very nice of them. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, it's going to completely cover up that white, but whatever. the way that brown and gold 
comes together. Look at it, like little waves. Hold on. Crap, can't get that last one, let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm going to leave it like that. And I will see you guys again for the cut tomorrow. Bring you guys that back for that. I'm going to set this aside. And I am going to pause for a minute while I set up for that other loaf that I'm going to make. And then I'll bring you guys back, okay? this nice tall skinny bar. I like to cut them on their side when they're this shape. I don't know exactly why I like to do that but um, that's what I like to do. Yeah this one's a little bit harder. I've got cocoa more cocoa butter in this one than that one. Oh, love it. Yeah. See, I love it when the drop swirl and the design looks like this. Nice big chunks and swirls of color. Yay. And um, I like I like the color combo. I'm not sure if everyone, you know, thinks that goes together, but I like it. Ooh, look at that one. I love it. Oh, that big old teal ball right there, teardrop. I have like a perfect little border going on in here. Isn't that funny? that. Very happy with this.
pretty. I've got like a little line on here to show me where one inch is and then I line it up with um, as you can see the wood there's two different wood grains on here or wood colors whatever you want to call it and uh, I use these lines to make sure that I'm lined up since I'm using you know something that could create a crooked line I like to try to make sure that my soaps are um, uniform I used to just cut them with a knife and I have like oh my goodness all different varying sizes and shapes and um, they weigh all different amounts so when I've been packaging them lately I have been um, just doing my labels and then actually writing the um, the weight on them because they vary and they vary greatly um, from like and I made really huge bars when I first started um, making them I because I made my own molds, I guess that was one of the reasons why that happened. I just kind of wanted like this really nice big bar, but um, they're too big because I, I don't want to be, I don't think people are going to want to spend what they would cost um, on one bar. They were anywhere from, I mean, I, I changed it a little bit so they're not as bad, but some of them were like, like seven ounces um, but for right now they range from about 5.5 to um, all the way up to like 6.9 but mostly 6.1 6.2 um, you know 5.9 these are more like 5 actually let me get a Let's see what these weigh. They're at least more uniform, you know? Oh, wow. Okay. 6.4. <laughs> these haven't cured at all yet, but, um, you know, I guess I just like making big bars. I don't know what my deal is. 6.2. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? I'm always making a lot. Okay, 5.1, this one is, the pumpkin pie, let's see, that's the end piece though. Okay, 5.5, and 5.5 I'm good with, like, in fact, like, even up to, like, 5.9, this one's 5.2, so these are better, this is better, because this is more of, like, the average size of bar. <clears throat> um, so these are a little bit big, whatever. I wonder if I should cut them thinner. I, I don't think so. I think this is, I don't know. It, it's a, it is kind of a big bar, but I like it. You know what, I'm just gonna go with it because that's what I like, so. I think some people will like it too. Very pretty, very pretty. Oh wow, I love it, it's so pretty. Gorgeous.
Oh wow, that one looks different, doesn't it? It's pretty. I think all of them are pretty. This is the end piece. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I'm hoping that the scent changes in this because it did morph and something, it just smells different to me. Not the way that it was and not the way that I loved. So I hope that that's not like a wasted batch. That will make me so very sad because I will not sell something that I don't think smells the way that it's supposed to. Um, but yeah, it would make me really sad to have to you know, not put this one out there. I think it's really pretty. And the scent was so beautiful in the bottle. Um, out of the bottle. It was awesome. So I don't know if it's just not really great for cold process. It did not say that in the reviews. There were no reviews saying that. There was nothing from the manufacturer, the company, whatever, saying that it wasn't for cold process, that it morphed nothing. So I'll definitely, if this doesn't like come back while it cures, then I'll definitely write a review so that other people know because I'm sure it's a very popular scent and it does, like I said, smell so good out of the bottle, but maybe it's better for wax. Um, you know, maybe it's, that's what it's suited for. And if that's the case, I actually have some soy wax. So maybe I'll make up a batch of that and um, have that around. Because that, that, oh my gosh, that scent was so good. I wanted some of it in something. So I, actually, maybe I'll make a thing of wax today. I haven't made any in a while. I, I don't want to sell wax at all. Um, but I, I do like making it. It's kind of took me a while to figure out how to do it properly and to keep the scent, you know, keep the scent in the wax so you get a throw and stuff like that. It's it's kind of complicated. It's it just like anything else, it's an art, it's a technique, it's a science, I suppose. So you have to do it at certain temperatures and things like that. Anyways, I'm babbling on. I will bring you guys back when I, um, because I will be soaping today for sure. So I'll bring you guys back then. And I will be soaping in my pajamas all day, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys later.